Welcome in my channel Digital World. In this video, we learn how to draw layout of CMOS NOR gate. So choose file, select new, again click on file, select foundry, select CMOS 012.rule file, click on open. Now show palette. Click here on MOS generator. First choose PMOS. Width is 0.6 micrometer. Length is 0.12 micrometer. Select PMOS and click on generate device. Now place this is PMOS. Next again we want PMOS. Click here on MOS generator. Choose PMOS and generate device. Place your second PMOS like this. Now in case of CMOS NOR gate, we have to connect two PMOS in series and two NMOS in parallel. So we have to do the proper alignment here. So there are two PMOS. The next step is we have to apply VDD to both end wells. So select VDD supply, place here on end well. Second VDD connect to second end well. Take one more VDD and connect to source of PMOS. So there are two VDD, three VDDs we want here. Next one is we have to connect two PMOS in series, right? So we have to choose metal one and connect both PMOS in series. So just draw one line here prop alignment is not proper. So again we have to drag it and place it like this. The second one is choose move and stretch. Select your second MOSFET and align it with first MOSFET. Take here MOS metal one and do the series connection of PMOS. Right. So this is source gate drain. And for this one, this is source, gate, drain. All are, or both PMOS are connected in series. Now take NMOS. So click on MOS generator. Choose NMOS. Generate device. And plus NMOS over here. Right. Now this is the second option for copy the element. So we can copy it like this. And we can place it two times. So in this case, not necessary to go to the palette, right? So we can place our second NMOS like this, right? So here what we have to do, both NMOS we have to connect in parallel, right? So this is source of first NMOS, we will connect to VSS. Similarly, second NMOS also we have to connect parallel, right? Else we can connect this source with this source and we can give common VSS. This is also another way we have to do the connections. The second one is we have to go for gate connection. So first one is we have to draw, choose the polysilicon and just draw one line like this. Okay. Now zoom it and just do the connection properly. Right. So choose polysilicon once again and connect this. Right. So this is the connection of input B. So choose clock, place it here and rename this as a B. This is your clock input. Just assign our clock. Similarly, we will connect another polysilicon. Right. So choose polysilicon, draw line from first PMOS, try to avoid overlapping. So just check it how to draw, choose again polysilicon and draw one line from second NMOS upward. Keep in mind width will be constant. Again choose polysilicon and connect 
gate of PMOS with gate of NMOS. Yes, so this is our another input. So we will choose clock, place clock here, rename this as A, assign it. Right, so gate terminals are connected. Now we have to do the parallel connection of PMOS. So choose metal 1, just draw metal upward similarly again choose metal 1 draw metal upward try to take the help of dots given here in that window choose metal 1 again and draw, do the parallel connection of two metals Right here, polysilicon and metal both both are overlap, so there is no short connection. Similarly, this parallel connection is connected in series with PMOS. Choose metal again and just do the connection with this parallel connection. So this is here two PMOS are connected in series and two NMOS are connected in parallel. Right, so just go to the visible window, click here. This is our output. Just connect here OP and assign. Right, so this is our CMOS NOR gate. Two N PMOS are connected in series, and two NMOS are connected in parallel. Now go to the analysis design rule check. Right. So, here error is there. The spacing between n well is less than 11 lambda. Means we have to adjust this time space. Now, press escape. Zoom out our layout properly. Okay, we have to remove this error. So, what we should do first? We have to choose move and stretch. Select our first PMOS. Okay, and just move your PMOS upward. First we will remove this metal okay, and we will try to remove this small gap and then we try to move this. So this is our PMOS. Try to go upward. Right? Again We'll do the same thing again. Alignment, proper alignment we should do. Okay. So here distance is again increased as compared to the first design. Yes. Now do the metal connection first. So this is metal, choose metal for both devices and draw it metal 1, width remains constant, we can drag, so this is our metal connection. Similarly do the polysilicon, choose this polysilicon. Place here, then do this connection. Yes, again go save this design analysis and design rule check. So, here we can observe no design rule errors, right? So, as per the rules, we have to know the distance between two animals, so we have to avoid errors in our design. Now to simulate our design click here on run simulation and see how NOR gate works. So in case of NOR gate we have to choose when the A and B both are 0 0 output of NOR gate will be 1. 
when the input a is 0 b is 1 output of nor gate should be 0 when a is 1 b is 0 right so 1 0 output of or gate is 1 and nor gate is 0 here we can see a is 0 b is 0 output of nor gate will be 1 so there are multiple cases are covered first case is here is 0 1 condition is covered next one is 1 0 condition is covered here 1 1 condition is covered and here 0 0 condition is covered in this way we can simulate our design and we can note power dissipated by the device is represented over here p is equal to 2.097 microbyte if you want to change time scale change it and reset on this device so we can observe your waveforms like this if you want to choose less 2 nanosecond select it and show it so this is the way we can draw layout of CMOS NOR gate if you want to use capacitive load then show palette choose capacitor here connect capacitor to the output change this value 0.01 picofarad ok again analysis design rule check so no design rule error and click on run simulation so this is the simulation with capacitor and this is our power right so in this way we can draw CMOS layout so we can save this file we can go to the file save layout or we can go to the file you can do the save as we can rename this file as a save CMOS nor gate and the extension of this file is msk or mask file save it thank you so much